So I remember I might have been like four, four or five. And I remember seeing, it was on TV, seeing this guy. He was chasing this girl with a chainsaw and she was in the back of a car. This is the only part I ever remember. He was chasing this girl that was in the back of like a truck. The truck was driving and like he's running after her with the chainsaw. I'm there watching it. I didn't know what was going on. Thinking in my head like, what is it? So the end, chasing her with the chainsaw, he's running. The car drives away, the girl's hysterically laughing in the back of the car. And then he starts doing this little swing and the, the chainsaw around, doing this little thing twirling around. And I'm like, my mind is blown as like a five-year-old. And I'm like, what's going on? Fast forward, we go to 2003. I hear that this movie's coming out, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which it kind of jogs my memory throughout those years. I'm like, that was what it was. He had a chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, must have been. So I go back and I watched the original movie, which mind you, was the weirdest movie once I seen it. I remember watching this and being like, yo, what is this? Like, this is crazy. So after I watched that movie, my mind is blown. I go, hop on the computer, I start checking everything I could about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm looking for if there are any sequels to this movie, what's going on with this movie? Who was this guy running after this girl with a chainsaw? What's his name? What's the family's name? I must have did so much research for this that like I figured out who the movie was based off of, the real killer, Ed Gein. I checked the real house that they found all the body parts in, what Ed Gein did to his victims. Now, Netflix has given us the Texas Chainsaw Massacre as a movie. I definitely want to see this trailer. I want to know what you guys think. Let's jump into it. But before I do that, make sure you hit that subscription button, smash that notification bell to stay up to date with everything coming from Mayhem Madness. I really want to see what's going on with this. Let's jump into this. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, let's go. <laughs> No one's ever safe out in Texas for some reason. Especially like in just a deserted area. If that isn't creepy as shit. So Harlow is a ghost town. We have a vision for this place. All it needs is young blood. I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. Oh, we gotta bring in the kids, the teenies. We're bringing hey the teens now. Something. You should see this. Something always happens to the teens. What are you doing in our house? We really shouldn't be here. Yes, the chainsaw. This is hard to steal. Yeah. I'm afraid your old friend's back. Oh, so we're going back to the original. That was the girl in the back of the truck. Just to see him again. Okay. Leatherface. How did you know his name was Leatherface? You don't give a fuck? Yes! <laughs> yes! Yo, this looks good. I'm, I like that. I like this. February 18th. Okay, I like this. I like this. Especially for the fact that they're going all the way back to the beginning. The original, original one. Not the Jessica Biel one. Or the one that was before that where they made his origin. We're going back. Okay, I like that. That that looks good. I'm not mad about that at all. That looks good. This looks really good. I like it. I like that they're going back to the original. That we're getting the girl from the original movie. The one where she escaped. Because at the end of the movie, spoiler warning right here. At the end of the original one, she escaped in the back of a truck and just drove off. And she was laughing hysterically. Which she kind of looks like she's kind of lost it throughout the years. But she's going back now. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, throw it in the comments what you guys think 
I'm, I'm for it. February 18th, I'm marking that down on my calendar, and I'm ready for it. Make sure you hit that subscription button, smash that notification bell to stay up to date with everything coming from Mayhem Madness, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.